Hello, my dear students. This is Shaima Gharib, and today's lesson about converting units of time, such as years, months, days, hours, and seconds. Are you ready? Let's start by revising some rules before you watch and video. You have to sit in a quiet place. You should have your pen and a piece of paper to take notes and to solve questions. You should pause the video after each question, then you try to answer on your own. Then you play the video to check your answer and to understand the question in case you get a wrong answer. Are you ready? Let's start. First, let's remember the number of days in each month of the year. First, January has 31 days, February. 28 days and 29 days in a leap year. March, 31 days. April, 30 days. May, 31 days. June, 30 days. And July, 31 days. August, 31 days. September, 30 days. October, 31 days. November, 30 days and December 31 days. Now, let's remember how many minutes in one hour. There are 60 minutes in one hour. And there are 60 seconds in one minute. And there are 24 hours in one day. And there are 7 days in the week. And there are 52 weeks in one year. And the one year has 365 days. And the leap year has 366 days. We said the leap year when February is 29. And another information about the leap year. The leap year is always a multiple of 4. One decade equals 10 years, and one century equals 100 years, and one millennium equals 1,000 years, and one fortnight equals two weeks. It's really important to know these conversions between units of time before we start our lesson. Now, let's start by the units of time. We have the day, hour, minutes, and seconds. And the biggest unit is the day here, then the hour, then the minute, then the second. How many hours are there in one day? We said there are 24 hours in one day. And how many minutes are there in one hour? There are 60 minutes in one hour. And how many seconds are there in one minute? We have 60 seconds in one minute. So when we want to convert or change from days into hours, we are going to multiply by 24. And if we want to change hours into minutes, we are going to multiply the number of hours by 60. And if we want to change from minutes into seconds, we are going to multiply by 60 because there are 60 seconds in one minute and 60 minutes in one hour and 24 hours in one day. What if we have seconds and we want to change them into minutes? So from seconds to minutes, I'm going to divide by 60. From minutes to hours, I'm going to divide by 60. From hours to days, I'm going to divide by 24. Is this clear? Now, let's start to do some conversions. We know according to this information. So, one day has 24 hours, one hour, 60 minutes, and one minute, 60 seconds. Now, what about half day? How many hours are there in half day? So, half 24 is 12. So, there are 12 hours. What about quarter day? One quarter of the day has 6 hours. When you 
divide the 24 by 4, you will get 6. When you divide the 24 by 2, you will get 12. What about 3 quarter day? 1 quarter of the day equals 6 hours. Then the 3 quarters of the day will be 18 hours. Or I can do it as a fraction of an amount. I will divide the 24 by 4 to get the 1 quarter, which is 6. Then I will multiply it by the 3 to get the 3 quarters, which is 18. 6 times 3 equals 18. 1 eighth of the day. So the 24 divided by 8 equals 3 hours. 1 sixth of the day. How many hours? 24 divided by 6 equals, yes, 4 hours. Now let's change between hours and minutes. Half an hour equals 30 minutes. The one hour has 60 minutes, so then the half an hour equals 30 minutes. Quarter hour, the quarter is dividing by 4, or the quarter is half the half, so half 30 is 15. One fifth of the hour, I'm going to divide the 60 minutes in the hour by 5, so it will give me 12 minutes. Three quarters of the hour, so the one quarter equals 15, then we are going to multiply it by 3, which is 45 minutes. One tenth of the hour, 60 divided by 10 equals 6 minutes. Now let's see some important conversions between minutes and seconds. Half minute is 30 seconds. A quarter minute is 15 seconds. It's exactly the same as the hours because there are 60 seconds in one minute, same as minutes and hours. And one fifth minute equals 12 seconds and three quarter minutes equal 45 seconds. And one-tenth of a minute equals six seconds. Now, look at this example. I want to write the number of hours here into minutes. We said there are 60 minutes in the one hour. So, when I change from hours to minutes, I will multiply by 60. Six times 60 equals 366 times 6 equals 36, then times 10, so it will be 360. Next, 4 minutes equals how many seconds? So I will multiply the number of minutes by 60 as well. 4 times 60 is same as 4 times 6 times 10. 4 times 6 is 24. Then, 4 minutes equals 240 seconds. 2 days and hours. The day has 24 hours. So I will multiply from days to hours. I will multiply by 24. So 2 times 24 equals 48 hours. 7 weeks and day. There are 7 days in the week. So I will multiply the number of weeks by 7 to get the how many days are there in 7 weeks. 7 times 7 equals 49 days. 3 years, how many weeks? We said in 1 year there are 52 weeks in 1 year. So I have 3 years, then I will multiply 3 by 52. I will get 156. Is this clear? If I have two years, how many days? I'm going to multiply 365 by 2. So 2 times 365. Three weeks and days. So three times seven, because there are seven days in the week. So it will be 21 days. Eight days and hours. There are 24 hours in the day. So I will multiply by 24. So eight times 24 equals 100 
92. Four hours into minutes, so I will multiply by 60 because there are 60 minutes in one hour. So 4 times 60 is 240 minutes. 7 minutes into seconds, so I will multiply from minutes to seconds. I will multiply by 60 as well. So 7 times 6 is 42, so it will be 420 seconds. Is this clear? Now look at this example. If I have 1.2 hours, this is a decimal number of hours, and I want to change them into minutes. What should I do? We said from hours to minutes, I can multiply by 60. So I will multiply the 1.2 by 60, which means I will multiply by 10, then I multiply by 6. But it will need calculations. And sometimes we can do wrong steps during these calculations. So let's think in a different way. Look at the decimal part here. It's 0.2. If I want to write this part as a fraction, what fraction of the hour is 0.2 hours? How to find the fractions? 2 over 10. This 0.2, it means 2 tenths. Is this correct? So 2 tenths of the hour, two tenths of the hour. We said before that what one tenth of the hour is six, then two tenths of the hour is 12. So only this part of the hour equals 12 minutes. And how many minutes are there in one hour? There are 60 minutes. So 60 and 12 equals 72. So, one-tenth of the hour equals six minutes. Then, the two-tenths of the hour equals 12 minutes. And this is what we did here. So, I can change the decimal part into a fraction. Then, find out how many minutes of the hour is in this fraction. Now, 2.5 hours. What the meaning of 0.5? It means half an hour. So, I have two full hours and the half an hour. 2 hours equals 120 minutes. And half an hour equals 30 minutes. So all of them will be 150 minutes. Now look at this one. 2.1 hours. What about 0.1? 0.1 is same as 1 tenth of the hour. One tenth of the hour is six minutes, and two hours is one hundred and twenty. So I have one hundred and twenty minutes in two full hours, and in one tenth of the hour there is six minutes. So all will be one hundred twenty-six. Two point six hours. So point six of the hour means. Six tenths of the hour. Six tenths of the hour means six tenths of sixty. So six tenths equals six times six, which is thirty-six. So here I have one hundred and twenty minutes in the two hours, and in the zero point six or the six tenths we have thirty-six minutes then in total we have 156 minutes in the 2.6 hours write these times as hours and minutes if i have a decimal number of hours and i want to write them as how many hours and how many seconds so how many hours here there are full Four full hours and one tenth of the hour. One tenth of the hour equals, do you remember? One tenth of 60 equals six. So we can say it is four hours and six minutes. What if I have 15 hours and 
0.25 hours. It does not mean 15 hours and 25 minutes. No, this is a fraction of an hour. What fraction is it? This is a very famous fraction, which is a quarter. Quarter of the hour. How many minutes are there in a quarter hour? 15 minutes. So this part is 15 minutes. So I have 15 full hours and 15 minutes. Is this clear? 3.5 hours, 0.5 means half an hour. And how many minutes are there in half an hour? 30 minutes. So I have here three full hours and 30 minutes. 7.3 hours, 0.3 means three tenths of the hour. One tenth of the hour equals six, then three tenths of the hour equals 18 minutes. So I have here seven full hours and how many minutes? 18 minutes. Is this clear? How to write decimal number of hours into hours and minutes? Now let's do the opposite. I will find out how many minutes in total in this number of minutes and hours. I have three hours. How many minutes are there in three hours? 180 minutes. And I have 12 minutes more. So in total, 12 and 180 will be 192. Is this clear? What about this example? I have three hours and 12 minutes is the, exactly the same, but this time I'm going to write them in hours, which means a decimal number of hours or a max number of hours. So let's see how are we going to do all the coming examples. As we said here, I have a whole number of hours, which is three, and I need to write this number of hour, of minutes as a fraction of the hour. 12 minutes means 12 over 60, which is 2 tenths of the hour, which is 2 tenths of the hour, or 1 fifth of the hour. So I can write it as three and one fifth or three and two tenths or three point two of the hour because the one fifth is point two or the two tenths is point two. Is this clear? So in order to know the number of minutes as hour, write it as a fraction over 60, then find it in the simplest form or change it into a decimal. If I have one hour and 24 minutes, one hour is 60 minutes and 24, so in total, there will be 84 minutes. If I want to write them in hours, so the 24, I will write it as a fraction over 60. I always write the number of minutes as a fraction over 60. 24 over 60. So which is 4. If I divide it by 6 up and down, it will give me 4 over 10, which means a 4 tenths. So I can write it as 1 and 4 tenths or 1 and 2 fifths or as a decimal as 1.4. So I write it as a maxed number 
then I can change this mixed number into a decimal number. Now I have some examples. Hours and minutes into minutes and into hours. Six hours, 15 minutes. I will change, find how many minutes are there in six hours, which is 360. Then 15 minutes which will be 370. Six hours and 15 minutes in two hours. So I will look at the minutes part. 15 minutes as a fraction of an hour, which is quarter. So I can write it as this is a quarter hour. 15 minutes is one quarter of the hour. Right? So it is six and one quarter of the hour. How to write the one quarter? As a decimal, 6.25, or as we said, 6 and 1 quarter. 2 hours and 30 minutes. 2 hours, 120 minutes, plus 30 minutes equals 150 minutes. 2 hours and 30 minutes in hours, so I need to write. The number of minutes as a fraction, 30 minutes as a fraction is half an hour. Okay, so how to write this as a number of hours? It could be two and a half hours because I have a whole number of hours too. And fraction of an hour, which is half. So it will be two and a half. Or if I want to write it as a decimal, it will be 2.5. So I can write any of them, 2.5 or 2 and half. But if the question asked you to write it as a decimal, so you have to write it in a decimal form or in a mixed number form according to the question. If the question didn't ask for a certain form, so you are free to write which of them, any of them. Write these times as minutes and seconds. This time we are going to write the time into minutes and seconds. We said in order to change it from minutes into seconds, we also multiply the number by 60. And I have a decimal number which will be a bit harder than changing into fractions. So let's see. You can multiply number 8.75 times 60 which means times 10, then times 6, or we can think of it as a fraction of the minute. Let's see. Do the first part of the uh, time, which is 8 whole minutes. 8 minutes, how many seconds are there in 8 minutes? So 8 times 60, which is 480. 400, let's write it here. 480 seconds are there in the 8 minutes. And what about the, this fraction? 75 point or 75 hundredths. What fraction is it? It's a very famous fraction, which is the 3 quarter. 3 quarter. What about the 3 quarter of the minute? Let's check here. Quarter of a minute, which is quarter of 60, is... 15 seconds. So the three quarter of a minute is 15 times 3, which is 45 seconds. So the 0 0.75 is three quarter, which is 45 minutes. So I'm going to add the 45 to the 480, or in order to write them in seconds. If I want to write them in minutes and seconds, I'm going to write it as 8 minutes and 45 seconds. Is this clear? Now I have 0 0.5.25 minutes. The two five hundredths, what fraction is it? It is a quarter. So quarter minute is 15 seconds. So I have here 5 minutes and 15 seconds. 
3.2 minutes. I have 3 minutes. And how many seconds? 2 tenths of the second. 2 tenths of the minute is what about 1 tenth of a minute? 1 tenth of the minute equals 6. So 2 tenths of a minute equals 12 seconds. Then it will be 3 minutes and 12 seconds. What about 7.5? It's very easy. 0.5 means a half, which is 30 seconds. So it will be 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Now we are going to write into seconds and into minutes. I have 3 minutes and 15 seconds. How many seconds are there? 3 minutes means 3 times 60, 180 seconds. And 15 seconds more, which means 195 seconds. If I want to write this as minutes, so I need to write the part of seconds here as a fraction. What fraction is it? It's a 15 over 60. 15 over 60, which is one quarter. If you divide up and down, you will get one quarter at the end as the simplest form of 15 over 60. So we can write it as 3 and 1 quarter minutes or if I want to write it as a decimal it will be 3 point 1 quarter as a decimal is 2 5 or 25 hundredths is this clear now we are going to change between days and hours we know that in one day we have 24 hours so if i have three days which means three times 24 which is 72 so we have here 72 hours and 12 hours so in total we have 84 hours 72 plus 12 equals 84. We have 3 days and 12 hours, same number exactly, but we won't write them as days, which means a decimal or a maximum number. So the whole number is number 3. And what fraction of the day is 12 hours? 12 over 60 or over 24 over 24 because there are 24 hours in the day so don't mix between hours and minutes and hours and days there are 24 hours in the day so when i write the fraction of hours in days i write the fraction over 24 because there are 24 hours in the day so 12 over 24 means half so i can write it as three and a half or a decimal number as 3.5 two days and six hours two days is 48 hours and Six hours more will give me 54 hours. When you add six hours to the 48, you will get 54. Now we are going to write the same time in two days. So I need to write the six hours as a fraction over what? 24. So it's a six over 24. So when you divide up and down by 6, you will get 1 quarter at the end. In the simplest form, it will give you 1 quarter. So it will be 2 and 1 quarter days. Is this clear? Now let's solve some questions. 
five days and 18 hours into hours, which means a maxed number of hours or a total number of hours, a total number of hours, because I can change the days into hours. How many hours are in five days? I will multiply five by 24, which is 120 hours plus 18. Then find the number of hours. Look at the second question, so it will be 138 hours. Five days, 18 hours in two days. So, which means this is a big unit, so I will write it as a mixed number or a decimal number. 18 hours will be written as a fraction of a day, so it will be 18 over 20. When you divide up and down to get the simplest form, I can divide up and down by 6. I will get 3 quarters. So I can write it as 5 and 3 quarters of the day or 5.75 as a decimal number. 3 quarters. Is written as 0 0.75 so it will be 5.75 or 5 and 3 quarters now I have minutes and seconds in two seconds five minutes so here I will multiply by 60 5 times 60 equals 300 plus 10 it will be 310 if I want to write it in minutes, so it will be a decimal number of minutes or a maxed number of minutes. The 10 seconds as a fraction of the minute, so it will be 10 over 24. No, it will be 10 over 60 because there are 60 seconds in a minute. It's a very easy fraction. When you put it in the simplest form, by dividing up and down by 10, you will get 1 6. So I can write it as a mixed number, 5 and 1 6 minutes. Now I have 2 hours and 36 minutes in 2 minutes. 2 hours, there are 120 minutes in the 2 hours. 36 minutes. Plus the 120 minutes will give 156 minutes. Now, if I want to write the same number, but this time in hours. So what fraction of an hour is the 36? 36 over what? Over 60. So let's check. To get. If you divide it up and down by 6, you will get 6 over 10, which means 6 tenths. You can also simplify to be 3 fifths in the simplest form. So I can write it as 2 and 3 fifths or as a decimal number as 2 point we said it's a 6 tenths, so it will be 2.6. And also 3 fifths as a decimal is 0.6. Now, if I have 3 hours and 45 minutes, 3 hours equals 180 minutes. Plus 45 minutes will give me 225 minutes. If I want to write this, in hours, I will write the number of minutes as a fraction of the hour. So it will be 45 over 60. What fraction of the hour is it? What do you think? If we divide it by 15 up and down, we will get 3 quarters at the end. 
3 over 4 as the simplest form. So it will be 3 and 3 quarters, or if I want to write it as decimal number, it will be 3.75. Now look at this question. Here are some statements. Write the word true or false next to each statement. There are 188 hours in a week. Let's find out how many hours are there in a week. In one day, there are 24 hours. In one week, there are 7 days. So we are going to multiply the 24 hours by 7 days to get the number of hours in the week which which is 168 which means this statement is false now let's go to the next statement there are 900 seconds and 15 minutes we know that we are going to multiply by 60 to change minutes into seconds so 15 times 60 equals 900, which is true statement. There are 744 hours in May. So first, we have to ask how many days are there in May? 31 days. And how many hours in one day? 24. So we are going to multiply the number of hours in a day times 31 days to find how many hours are there in May. It is 744, which means true statement. The last one, there are 578 months and 49 years. So how many months are there in one year? 12. Now, we are going to multiply the 12 by 49, which is 588 months, which means this sentence is not correct, because in 49 years, there are 588 months. So, which is false statement. This is the end of our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment. And I will answer you as soon as possible. Please remember that your feedback is highly appreciated. Thank you very much and have a nice day.